What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alplexi and welcome back today to a brand new Minecraft map. Today we are going to be playing Forage, which is kind of like a find the button style Minecraft puzzle map. So it's going to be good. Uh, but today's video is going to be slightly different because uh, I want to kind of just have a chat basically about various bits and pieces on the channel recently and uh, yeah, kind of keep you guys informed in the loop. Hang on, check this out, check this out. Let me do this right, let me do this right. And, and, whoa, look at that. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty chill episode today, I hope. Um, playing Find the Button. So this is actually a pretty cool map. This is relatively new. Let's just check the rules quickly. So... Forage is a puzzle map aimed at testing your searching skills. The aim of each level is to find the button. Uh, they are hidden somewhere in the room. Can you find all the buttons in the map? The buttons you need to find are wooden. So, three, two, one. Here's uh, the makers, testers, scientists. <laughs> Pretty cool. Three, two, one, and go! Dun, dun, dun. Level one, green grass. Very good. So... Yes, yeah, so I'm sure you guys know, um, Crazy Craft just kicked off on the channel probably around two weeks ago. Now, firstly, I just wanted to say a massive thank you once again. I did actually mention this at the end of last episode, but in case you didn't see it, um, I want to kind of mention it again. Uh, but yeah, just thank you so, so much for... I found the button. <laughs> Boom, level two. Wintry whites. Okay. Oh, hello. Feeling hot, hot, hot. It's really cold in here, dude. What are you talking about? I like you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just wanted to say a massive thank you for all of the incredible, incredible support on the series so far. Um, and, yeah, of course, to all the new subscribers as well. We've had loads and loads of new subscribers to the channel recently as well. So in case I haven't said hello to you, uh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. It's lovely to have you over here. Of course, to all of the regular viewers as well. How you doing? High five. Um... But yeah, so that's been going really, really well, and it is it is so, so nice to have found something on the channel that people actually really, really want to watch. You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, because that's what we do here, but over the past year or so, it has been very, very difficult to, to find something sort of universally that people really, really like watching. Oh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> button two, level three menacing mushrooms. Look at you. It's Didi the Moo Cow. Hello. I like you too. At your face. Okay, right. So, yeah, it's been difficult to find something. I think probably the last thing that we actually did um, was the Pixelmon series, but since then it has been pretty tough. Um, and yeah, it's been difficult for me and just for the channel to kind of, you know, keep things moving in the way that I would like them to. So, uh, yeah, it's a good opportunity for me, of course, with this crazy craft. And I really just want to make it an amazing series for you guys. Um, and yeah, just please keep doing what you're doing with the support. You know, those like ratings, uh, the comments telling me about all the stuff, you know, just keep tuning in each time. It really helps more than you probably realize. It's incredible. Um, and yeah, we can kind of start moving and starting afresh because it sounds like the most obvious thing in the world to say, but when people are actually digging your videos and they're watching them, it makes it so, so much more of like, a, oh, there's a button here, <laughs> so much more of a joy to actually make them in the first place. Ah, oh, I didn't realize there'd be parkour. Why? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, God. No. <laughs> There's a button. There's a checkpoint. Quick to the checkpoint. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there'd be parkour. I'm so... Oh, I hate parkour so much. I mean, there's some parkour that's okay, right? But there's other parkour that's just really, really annoying. Oh, and I think this is one of them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so as I was saying, you know, I've been trying lots of new things out on the channel over the past year or so. Um, as well as the Minecraft stuff, we've been doing, you know, lots of different maps and mini games and puzzle maps and stuff, which is super, super fun. Um, but then, of course, I've also been trying other games out and other series. And so far, you know, people have watched them, which I'm eternally grateful for. It's amazing because it's it's really nice to kind of uh, play something sort of different and cater to other people's tastes and stuff, but nothing is really, like, stuck in the way that I think this crazy craft hopefully will do. Oh, this is so annoying. Dude! Why make this level four? Come on! Oh. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man?
Oh god, let's never speak of this moment again. I'm trying to erase it out of my memory as we speak. Oh god, yes, yes, yes. Oh god, don't mess this up, Jim. Please don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. Yes. And go, and go, and go, and go, and checkpoint. Oh, thank goodness. I am so happy right now. Okay, so finally. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Please just end my nightmare. Click the button. Just click the button. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Level five. Vexed villagers. Oh, this looks cool. Okay, so we've got two nether stars. And we've got two villagers. Jekyll and Hyde. Huh. Right. Interesting. So this guy wants five diamonds for a nether star. So we can get ten diamonds as a trade. And then he wants a block of emerald for a creeper head. Interesting. But Hyde wants ten diamonds for a block of emerald. Right. And then he wants two creeper heads for a dragon egg. Right, so if we trade the nether star with the other guy for one, no, for ten diamonds, then we get ten diamonds, which equals a block of emerald. And then this guy wants a block of emerald for a creeper head, and then this guy wants two creeper heads for a dragon egg. So we need to work a way of either to get ten more diamonds, or to get another creeper head from somewhere. Interesting, that's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a chest in here. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, see, anyway, as I was saying, we've tried, like, loads of other things. I can't even... It was so long ago since I started this sentence. But it, we've tried things recently, like uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's World, which it was still waiting for update two. But I'm very excited to be hopefully playing that again as and when that comes out. And we've been trying Stardew Valley recently, which I know is not the most popular thing on the channel. Um... And it's a shame because it's a really, really cool game. Uh, I'm not going to plan stop playing it, like stopping playing it, because uh, not for a while anyway, because I'm still really, really enjoying it. But, you know, we've tried lots of different things and bits and pieces and nothing really has seemed to sort of stick. You know what I mean? And the way that YouTube works as well is that, you know, videos, they if they do well, they kind of get promoted and, you know, they go in related searches and stuff. And my videos really just haven't been doing that. Oh, is this like a secret thing that we have to do? I wonder. Um, so yeah, they haven't really been doing that. And that's kind of on me because I've not been making the videos that people want to watch. Uh, but we've really not had that much help from YouTube, to be honest. Uh, and it's been tough, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's been really, really tough this year. So it's just, it means the world to me that people are now enjoying the um, the crazy craft so much. And we're just going to try and kick on and see the like if we can do it like the best we can. So just, yeah, once again, I'm going to stop talking about this now. But thank you so, so much for just the continued support on it. Um, and yeah, let's go for bigger and better things. It's just, it's amazing. It's really cool. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm just trampling these crops because I can't think of anything else to do to try and get two diamonds. Uh, that made absolutely zero difference, which is good. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Okay. So the one thing I'm not too sure about is there's a hopper in here. Why would we need to have a hopper? I kind of want to put one of the nether stars in it, but at the same time... I'm not too sure. We can't break this because we're in adventure mode. Um. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. Okay, so it, the more times you click the button, the more stars it gives you. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So that makes life much easier. So let's see what's cracking here. We've got 20 of these. So we'll give those two emerald blocks. We'll go to this dude. We'll go two emerald blocks here for two creeper heads. We'll go to this dude. We'll do two creeper heads for a uh, dragon egg. Now what do we do with the dragon egg? Do we put it down somewhere? Hatch! Hatch, you mythical beast! Um I'm kind of confused now. So what do we what do we what do we do? Uh we can get more of these. We can just get tons of these. I don't really see what the point is though. Um Can we do anything with this? No, it won't magically craft into a button. I feel like the button is supposed to come here. But what we do with the dragon egg? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I tell you what. Why don't we put the dragon egg in the item hopper? Boop. <laughs> well, that's one dragon egg gone. <sighs> oh, <laughs> it has given us the fun. Yeah, we did it right. So what we needed to do is get the dragon egg and then drop the dragon egg in the hopper. And then in the extra chest there, which was empty, it'll give us the button. Boom. Six towering trees. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, you see, the name of the game is with these kind of things. I always think, always look in the sneaky positions first. Because they're never really going to put one in, like, plain sight, are they? 
because that would just be madness. So always look to the sneaky areas first. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if they would put it up in a tree. Oh! Okay, let me try and come on, come on, James, jump, jump! God damn it! Okay, how do we, how do we, how do we get up here? Come on, S stick and jump. Oh! Maybe it's not up in the tree, or if it is, I'm going to be annoyed. Man, this is really tough. It's so like overgrown. But we should be able to see a button in here, right? We should be able to do this. Okay, we're in the tops of the trees now. That is probably a good thing. So let's have a little look-see around here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we can't jump any higher than that. So it must be here somewhere, right? Um, see, I don't think they'd let us go up the trees unless there was a way of actually finding it up here. You know what I mean? So, ooh. Ooh, this one's quite tough, actually. This one's probably the hardest, like, standard button find one we... Oh, no, I've fallen down. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, okay, okay, okay. So let's think this through logically. Go through the corners of the map first. It must be here somewhere, right? What about down here? Anything on the tree trunks? Nope is the answer. Oh dear. Um, this is quite hard. This is actually really, really hard. Um, I don't know. Oh man. Where would it be? Because it could be like so many different places. Oh, it's kind of the point of the map, James. You know what you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's really hard. Um Oh man. I found you. <laughs> GG. So level seven scorching sands. Okay, so this one shouldn't be too difficult because it's kind of like the 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 the, the Sand color against okay, we probably don't want to go in that hole. The sand color against like the uh the brown of the wood, so that shouldn't be too bad, right? Uh let's keep looking. Okay, so there's water there. Now I'm wondering if we go down it. Let's have a little look just around the sides to make sure. Oh, what's this? Oh, dead end. <laughs> this side has no purpose except to annoy the players of forage. You're welcome. Very good. Okay, so maybe it's in that water area. That would probably make most sense if we go down here. Blop. Forge. For forge. Forage. Get wrecked. Oh, there's four buttons. Okay, what about this one? <laughs> okay, it's being sneaky. Um, all right, so if we drop down, that was the front one. So let's try the back one. Oh, no. All right, two out of two. This is why gambling is bad, ladies and gentlemen, because chances are you're always going to lose. Okay, let's go down like so. So let's try right. No, it's not right. What? Um. All right, our luck is terrible. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's try this one more time. Uh, where's the water? I always lose. The where's, the where's the water gone? Wasn't it here? Um. Or was it here? No, there's, oh, there's two. That's why there's two lava pits. Ah, okay, so there's one here. So we've tried front, left. Let's try left. Yes! Woohoo! Level eight, but using buttons. Oh my goodness. Look at the buttons. Wow, okay. That is some serious buttonage right there. Oh my goodness. So we've got to look for a wooden button. Uh, well, if we stand here, we could see all the walls. So there's none on that one. Uh, there's none on that one. There's none on that one, and... Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> bottom, bottom right hand corner. Boom! Dull digging. Okay, so we've got... Ooh, the grass breaker. The grass wrecker. Right, this is going to be one of the most, like, satisfying sounds in Minecraft, I think. I love that sound. It's like my favorite sound. Ooh, there's a hole. Can we dig it? Nope, okay. Must be the right hole. Oh, I love that stuff. It's even better with gravel. Like, oh, I just love that noise so, so much. Okay, okay, there's another hole. We can't dig that one either. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep breaking stuff. Nope, can't dig that one. It must be here somewhere, right? Can't dig that one. Come on, where are you? If I dig a whole layer and don't find it, I'd be really annoyed. Okay, keep going, keep going. Keep digging. Can't dig there. Keep going. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Boop. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, okay, so I think the button is, is at the end. Yeah, it is. Boom. And level 10, empty end. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm calling this right now. I guarantee you the button is on my head. Are you ready? The button is on my head. 
Uh, once you play like a lot of these maps, they always try and pull that sneaky trick. So there we go. Mad Bro 321. Boom! Congratulations! You have beat the map. How long did it take you? Post your time on the website or forum you downloaded the map from. Thank you very much for playing. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have Forage, which is a find the button map. So really, really good. I enjoyed that one. Uh, the parkour was hell on earth. It was terrible. But apart from that, really, really fun. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. So if you did enjoy this video, uh, please remember to poke me in that like button, of course super super appreciated and also if you're not yet subscribed go for it because we do minecraft on fun but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been such a pleasure as always thanks R -tip.